Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays a Story About My Uncle. We are about to say our farewells to Starhaven and make our way over to the Zeppelin. So let's head out into the rocks and see if we can find our way there. Oh, that was a bit of an inauspicious start. Banging my head on a rock like that. Now we can actually just zip over to this, and it's possible that we can even uh, zip our way over here. Mm. Perhaps if we'd been a bit more careful, yes. Can the boots save us? No. Okay. So this is actually should be a fairly easy sequence. So it's just really just a matter of not getting ahead of myself. Because we are really just going through a few easy jumps before we get into the really challenging bit. So as long as we're careful and calm, everything should be fine. I'm not entirely sure where it is we're supposed to be going, but I think if we just aim for what's right in front of us, we should do okay. Not really sure where this one is going to take us. Ah, there's... See? You take the leap of faith. And it sends you right where you need to go. Complete with a checkpoint. This game does a really good job of, of making itself feel like it's a little bit disorienting, but always making it pretty obvious where the next place you have to go is. And it looks like we've got another little bit of village. So, ah, there are people here. Somebody repairing a crystal wheel. And somebody looking out over the edge. I wonder if there are any collectibles or story moments for us to find here. Let's see if you can see anything from the rooftops. No. Looks like there's a couple more people down over here, though. Just relaxing. Alright. Let us continue on our way, then. Now, did I just turn myself around? Is this backwards? Or is this where we're supposed to go? I am not sure. I'm not sure where we're supposed to go from here. Because I don't remember how we got here, how we came in. I think this is where we came from. But I'm not confident in that. I think we came from here. And we came past the person hammering on the wheel. And I think this is our next place to go. And that was an odd way to do it, but I think it worked. So from here, I'm thinking we go to this, and then to that, and it's a checkpoint. And we can see which way, ah, it is pointing this way, so we are headed in the right direction. And I believe this... Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. Well, this is not the boat we're going to take. It seems to be under repair, but looks like we're getting closer. Now we have some more windmills to grab onto. Leap. Grab. And this should fling us to the next one. Nice overhand throw like that. 
And let's hope that takes us far enough. Oh, no. Okay. Let's give it another shot. There we go. And where will this one throw us? Looks like we are headed down this way. There we go. Quickly, grab a hold of that crate. Which crate? Ah, that crate. Where's that taking us? I don't actually know. Ah, way up here. How are we supposed to do that? How do the uh, frog people do? Like, how, how are you normally supposed to go there when there isn't a crate to grab onto, or you can't grapple? Well, I guess a lot of a lot of stuff in this game kind of raises that question. That person does not look well. I'm not not really sure even what to say at this point. There's just so much stuff to see, so much interesting stuff going on. Looks like there are a couple of different uh, boats around here. Not sure which one we want to get onto. Let's let's check out the other one first because I just saw it turn into a plot moment. I'm not sure which of these we actually want to take. I'm guessing that this is not the one that we want to take because it's not turning into a plot moment. So this is just something for us to explore. Kind of see what these these airships look like. And now I think we need to head on into the next portion of the game. Good day. Here's a bow to Ice Key. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too, and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe... Maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out. Somewhere to be free. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. All right. It's kind of a bittersweet farewell. Let's head onward. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the sun was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. And that has taken us into the final portion of the game, the Ice Caves. Into the caves again. And now, it was just me. Alone, in these cold, barren halls of ice. But Fred had been here. And now, I could feel it. I was getting close. 
Something wasn't right. The grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off of the ice, and I couldn't get a grip. I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick. This was going to be a challenge. So that's the final bit of challenge that they're introducing, is now we cannot grab onto most of the walls here. That's going to make things a lot more difficult. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can make it. Wow. That is quite an impressive sight. Let's see. In the winds we sail is what it says across the top. Can't quite work it out, but the top bit says, in the winds we sail, and then around here it says, for the... And then I can't quite work out can't quite make out the shapes, and I may have actually failed to write down uh, one of the characters that we learned. Because I, I recognize one of these characters, and I don't have it on my notepad. So that's too bad, but I don't think we need to read any of this for it to... For us to enjoy the game. We certainly don't. I mean... We've been enjoying it plenty. I've enjoyed it in the past when I've attempted to play it. Now, let's see. Uh, no. That's not going to land me anywhere useful. I think what I want to do is actually do this a bit more conservatively. Let's drop down here. Oh my goodness, there's like a whole block of text here, and it's kind of lit in a way that makes it very difficult to read. So I may work that out uh, in, in the future, but I don't actually have a lot of optimism that I will be able to read it just because it's so poorly lit and it has so many letters. That's something that I may edit in later on. All right, so we want to use two grapples to get a good deal of height. And then we want to use the boots to get even more height. And then we want to look down below us and try and find a platform to land on. Ah, uh, but the angles didn't quite work out, so... It's not going to be as easy as I would like. Though that's, I guess, a little bit of, of a miss... a little bit misspoken because... I like it difficult. This is a difficult game. This is meant to be a difficult game. And so it not being easy is really... it's a good thing. Now, where are we going from here? Probably over this way, and then to that one, and then rocket. Oh, bounce off of that, and let's land on top of that. All right, and that will refill us. And I believe we are going over uh, toward that glowing bit of rock over there. There we go. So yeah, we have a lot of freedom to kind of move about these blocks as we wish. 
And we may actually be able to get that with just a rocket. Yep. Let's see. All right. We seem to have landed next to a giant cluster of crystals that is both glowing and humming. Now, because I've played this before, I believe... Yes, there is some beeping over here. Just need to figure out where it is. And I think I see it's glow... Whoa! Okay, that's a bit of clipping. So I'm not sure exactly where it is. Ah, there it is down there. Now, how do we get back? Probably up this way. And is there something for us to grab onto? I certainly don't see it. Maybe we can power leap. Yeah, it looks like we can get somewhere if we power leap and then rocket. When I drained the crystal, Oops. I suddenly felt the earth starting to move beneath my feet. And my mind wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of power to keep their cities afloat. I decided it was best to hurry back the way I came before this whole room came apart. Yeah, so now we get into a challenge that had me really almost give up on this game. This is one of one of the most difficult parts of the game, and it's one of the most random parts of the game, and it's one of the ones with the least amount of feedback and where you kind of run into the most trouble because it's difficult to judge distances. So basically we want to move from block to block. We have very little time in which to do so and we want to find like that looked like it should have been reachable. That looked like it should have been well within reach. but it's very difficult to judge these distances. And I believe these uh, those blocks are actually quite a lot bigger than they look, so... They will continue sinking. I believe they slow down when you land on them, but they will continue sinking, so... We have to really be careful. And we are getting down into the clouds. I may have turned myself around there. Not entirely sure. So, I may need to go away for a bit and really work on this. Because there's a big random element that we're going to be working with. And it's just a matter of kind of trying and trying again. Alright, so this is a part of the game that the first time I got to it, I quit after trying for several days, and so I don't actually know when the next episode is going to be. Uh, we will be on the other side of the chasm at that point. We're going to... I'm just pick up when I get to the other side of this because it's a very long, slow, difficult and very random part of the game, and I just, I can't record good commentary while I'm doing it. And so I hope it won't be too long before I make it through this, but just know that I don't really have a lot of confidence in my ability to get through the remainder of the game. And so I hope that you will join me in the future, I hope that there will be a future in which you can join me. But most of all, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.